Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking today of all things about the Salvation Army. I'm sure most of you are familiar with what the Salvation Army is. You see them out there with the red pail, usually in the holiday season. They get a volunteer ringing the bell, uh, obnoxiously ringing the bell in the doorways of many stores, supermarkets, big box stores, so on and so forth collecting change or whatever you're willing to put into that little red bucket and it goes to their food pantries and to their other um, organizational charities that they run. They've been around for a very long time. They're not as active as they used to be. You know, back in the day, it was a big open kettle with a, uh, a guy dressed as Santa and they'd have the Salvation Army bands out there. You don't see that anymore. But uh, anyway, before I get flying here, I just wanted to give a shout out to Jason. Jason, thank you very much for reaching out and helping the channel. I appreciate it. It means a lot, actually. It does. But uh, anyway, Salvation Army now apparently has entered into what is commonly referred to as the woke culture, talking about systematic racism and requesting in a guidebook of their patrons, their donors, to repent of their systematic involvement in racist America, whether they know they are or not, or whether they're racist or not. And I'm not one who goes in for the whole people are inherently good thing. I don't believe that. I think people are inherently bad and that people are selfish and mean and nasty and that they have to want to be good. I've talked about that a lot here. You have to want to be a good person. You have to want to be an honest person, so on and so forth. I don't know quite where racism falls into that, uh, into that viewpoint, to be honest. I don't know anyone who is really racist or prejudiced, and that could be just a matter of selection. I don't hang around with that type of person because it doesn't fit my personality profile. So I don't know people that are like that. I've rarely run into somebody where I thought to myself, wow, that's really uh, kind of a racist remark or whatever. You know, there's this uh, stigma that white people know tons of uh, racist jokes. I don't know any because, again, that's not my circle. As a matter of fact, the most racism I've ever been exposed to has been from the black community against me growing up. Violence and threats and slurs and things like that or really rude and off-color remarks. But uh, hang it, 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 you see my point. You see what I'm talking about here. But they've released a statement, you know, getting back to the story and talking less on that. And I'll just read this here really quickly. And this comes from the White House Wire. And it says the details, um, it says this year, in addition to requiring monetary contribution towards the global mission, the organization is calling on donors to reckon with their deep-seated attitudes of racism. In a guidebook titled Let's Talk About Racism, which I'm sure you can probably find on the internet, the charity asks donors to consider the ways in which they have consciously or unconsciously supported prejudicial systems that inflict harm on racial minorities, adding that it acknowledges with regret the Salvationists have sometimes, sometimes, I like how they say sometimes, instead of suggesting they're all in like everybody else, shared in the sins of racism and conformed to economic, organizational, and social pressures that perpetrate racism. Well, they're kind of conforming to economic and organizational and social pressures by even suggesting this. Because that's the popular thing right now, is for organizations to pretend to care about racism. Elsewhere in the document, the charity calls on white donors to lament, repent, and apologize for bias or racist ideologies held and actions committed. Indeed. Indeed. And there's another uh, snippet of information here. The, it says the charity, charity reiterates its viewpoints in another document created by the Salvation Army's International Social Justice Commission. The fact that they even have a social justice commission tells you everything you need to know. Called the Study Guide on Racism. 
In that document, the Salvation Army plainly claims that racism is obvious and evident in nearly all facets of Western society and argues we must stop denying the existence of individual and systematic institutional racism. They exist and are still at work to keep white Americans in power. And I don't believe that, obviously. I do not believe that. Um, is there racism? Sure. Is it like how these people are suggesting? Not hardly. Oh, and by the way, when this came out, which is a very recent story, this article is from like the 26th, <laughs> literally it's from Friday, and today, the 27th, Salvation Army's denying it. They're denying it, and they have this statement, and this was uh, talked about on Fox News. It says, the Salvation Army is not asking donors to apologize for their skin color, and we do not endorse any philosophy or ideology. Obviously, you do. Such claims are simply false and injure our ability to fulfill our mission, which is to pre preach the, and it goes on to say, the gospel of Jesus Christ, so on and so forth. You, you know the statement. They're backpedaling, but it's already out there. So now you're being dishonest about it, too. <laughs> I, I don't trust that. I don't like that. Um, I do not donate to the Salvation Army. If I did, I would stop. I would stop plainly. If you were, if you do or don't, it's entirely up to you. That's that's on you. If you want to donate to them, if you want to help them out, the charities do help people. But this I don't like, and I would prefer to see them basically keep their mouths shut. I'm sick and tired of hearing people talking about um, social and political stuff. I'm tired of organizations and celebrities going on and on about this to get attention or to look like they care about something. Because I guarantee you they don't. They do not care. What they care about is what you think about what you think they think. So organizations, celebrities, musicians, please just shut up. It, it, politics and social justice garbage have found their way into basically every facet of our lives. And there's almost nowhere left that you can go and hide. Because people really just want to be left alone. They want to be left alone. They don't want to hear it. They don't want it forced on them. There's an argument that was made, and I'm going to address that really quick. There's, um, I forget who said it, but they said that if you you don't like hearing about um, white supremacy, then you are a white supremacist. Because if you weren't, it wouldn't bother you. And I'm like, how does that make any sense? If you're decrying... Uh, racism and white supremacy constantly, constantly, constantly. Most people will apply that to everyone in that color group, if you will. No matter where they came from, no matter what their background is. It's a blanket statement. It's like if I used the N-word, and we'll just say nickel for the sake of argument so I don't get in trouble with uh, Screwtube for saying the word out loud. You know how that goes with their uh, algorithm that listens to and makes a transcript now of your comments. That's why I have the cat pictures up if you weren't aware. It helps with the algorithm. But let's say I was in a group of people and I said, yeah, I don't like nickels. And I'm talking to black people. And they're like, well, why would you say that, right? Well, I didn't mean you. I meant, you know, nickels. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's a blanket statement and it is offensive. It is offensive. I'm tired of hearing about white supremacy. I'm tired of hearing about uh, white privilege. If there's white privilege, I need some. I, mean, I grew up so poor, I had to wash my clothes in the bathtub. Okay? Don't tell me about white privilege, because it doesn't exist. Uh, there, there's economic privilege. There are people that are very privileged because of the way they grew up, or because their family had money. But that's all walks of life. Not necessarily just one grouping of people. But I'm just curious to see what people have to say about this with the Salvation Army. You know, just throwing it out there. I was kind of surprised to hear it. Um, it, doesn't, uh, to, it doesn't surprise me too much because I've been to um, Salvation Army charities in the past for help. And I found their salvationists, the people that wear their uniforms, to be very arrogant, 
very arrogant, have a big airs about them. Like they're standing on a pedestal here. I am helping you masses appreciate me. You, you see what I'm saying? They didn't feel like they were doing it to be charitable. They felt like they were doing it as a job and because they expected um, to be practically worshipped for it, in my experience. And again, that may not be everybody in the Salvation Army, but that, that's the impression that I got. Uh, it's always been my impression when I was that hard up and I was going to pantries and doing all that stuff, the more Christian the organization was, the greater the arrogance level was, in my personal opinion. And, it, you know, some of that may be just my own personal impression, but speaking to other people that had been in places like that, I've, I've got the same impression. They're like, yeah, you know, they, 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 they'll give you good stuff, but man, the people that work there it is, the, is the attitude that, that, um, that I've gotten. So it doesn't surprise me that they would have this attitude but it surprises me that they would take the risk. And it is a big risk because people are very upset about this. People are very upset about this. And a lot of people in, um, in the social media circles are now saying that I'm done uh, helping the Salvation Army because of that. And you would think that as many times as people have backed away from organizations and uh, celebrities who make these kind of statements that they would learn to just shut the hell up and just do whatever they do and not wear a sign, you know, not make a statement, not take a stand. You're there to do whatever it is you're there to do. You don't have to inject this extra stuff, I feel. Anyway, any thoughts on that? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Have you encountered this? Do you donate to the Salvation Army? Is it going to affect your decision to donate? And again, the thing that stood out for me the most, now they're backpedaling it and denying that they even did it, even though the reports are there. You can look these statements up for yourself. They said this. Now they're acting like they didn't. So which is it, Salvation Army? Now you're not being honest? That is very Christian of you, actually. I'm sorry to say because there is a difference between being Christian and being Christ-like. And I think most Christians, unfortunately, don't know that difference. And if I've offended you, well, maybe I just want you to think about it. Anyway, again, thoughts. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up. Share it if you can, probably the only way it will get seen. Subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. If you wanted to help the channel, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. And so what more can I say, but stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.